The movie begins with a young boy named Simon who is having a good time with his girlfriend Fabian. Simon and Fabian live together and work as cartoon artists. They keep themselves away from their families because they disapprove of their artistic nature. After six months of being away from his family, Simon decides to visit his family on the day of his father's 60th birthday party. He also brings Fabian along because he wants to introduce her to the family. He meets many family members at the party, but only one mysterious woman catches his eye. He doesn't recognize the woman at first, so he asks his mother about who she is. It turns out that the woman is his father Carl's new secretary. Carl is a psychiatrist who is often involved in affairs with his secretaries. He's known for having multiple girlfriends and has a reputation for transforming his patients into secretaries and then into sexual partners. Even though Simon's mother knows about Carl's infidelity, she can't do anything about it. She's deeply troubled by her husband being involved with other women, but she's helpless because she also works under Carl and feels compelled to tolerate the situation. After the party, Simon and Fabian go back to their apartment and start working on their cartoon art. Suddenly, Simon's mother arrives and says that she needs to talk to him privately. Outside the apartment, Simon's mother informs him about Carl's new secretary. She tells him that her name is Sonia and that Carl is planning on going on a trip with her. The mother explains that if he goes with her, then their marriage will be forced to end. In this difficult situation, the mother asks Simon to substitute for her at the clinic so she can go on the trip with Carl instead. Even though Simon is reluctant to leave Fabian behind, he takes pity on his mother and agrees to work at the clinic while she's gone. Later, Simon shows up at his father's clinic. Since he's filling in for his mother, she can go on the trip with Carl while Simon is left alone with Sonia. After saying goodbye to his parents, Simon sits down with Sonia and starts talking to her. She complains that if he didn't agree to work here for a few days, then she'd be able to go on that trip with Carl and strengthen their relationship. However, Simon doesn't take her too seriously and says that his father has too many girlfriends. After some time, Simon goes inside the clinic. Sonia ponders on what Simon said and then confronts him about it. She says that her relationship with his father isn't what he thinks it is and that he should keep his opinions to himself. Later that night, Simon keeps thinking about what Sonia said and concludes that Sonia and his father are probably involved in a serious and meaningful relationship. The following day at the clinic, Simon is standing by the window when he overhears Sonia talking to someone on the phone. She mentions something about having a family and kids and says that she has nothing. She also asks the person on the phone not to waste her time. At that moment, Simon realizes that despite being on a trip with his mother, his father is still talking on the phone with Sonia. To confirm his doubt, he calls his father's phone and as expected, the line is busy. Later that day, Simon and Sonia are working on transcribing Carl's lectures and interviews. Both of them found the job very exhausting. After a while, Simon goes into Sonia's office. She explains to him that Carl says that he loves her and openly expresses his love for her in front of all his co-workers. However, she is upset that despite being in love with her, Carl is enjoying a holiday with his wife. Talking about all this, Sonia becomes very emotional and starts crying. She also expresses her desire to start a family by going on a trip with Carl and marrying him because she wants to have children of her own. Simon feels uncomfortable at first, but he knows that his father is in the wrong and offers Sonia some tissues. He goes near her to comfort her, and she pulls him in a hug. Then, all of a sudden, she grabs him and kisses him. However, Simon pulls back immediately because he understands the complexity of the situation. He leaves the clinic and steps outside to think about whatever is happening. He knows that he can't get closer to Sonia because his mother trusted him to keep her away from Carl. Still, he can't stop thinking about her. The next morning, Fabian tells Simon that they have an important cartoon show in two weeks, but they haven't made any preparations because he's so busy with family matters. She seems disappointed in him for abandoning her. At the clinic, Simon goes to apologize to Sonia for what happened, but she takes it lightly as if it's normal for her to kiss random boys. He asks her not to tell his father about the kiss, but she says that she already told him that she was seeing somebody, but kept his identity a secret. It's clear that Sonia is doing this to get Carl's attention and ruin his trip, so Simon gets curious about what she's hiding. He starts looking for her file at the clinic because she used to be Carl's patient. 
After checking some file cabinets, he finally finds her file and learns that Sonia is a patient with severe suicidal tendencies. The next day, Sonia notices that her file is missing and starts looking for it. Eventually, she finds it on Simon's desk, snatches it, and rushes to her own office. She's trying to hide her suicidal tendencies from everyone, but Simon already knows all about it. He goes to the room where Sonia is crying, so he approaches her. He tries to take the file away, but Sonia turns and kisses him again. This time, Simon can't resist her anymore, so he kisses her back passionately as well. They start making out in the office, but Sonia pulls back and says that someone could walk in here, so they must go down to the basement. Sonia opens the door to step outside, and Simon is forced to hide behind the door to make sure none of the other coworkers see him. Once all the coworkers leave, Sonia leads Simon down to the basement room. He knows that he shouldn't be doing this because he's betraying his mother and Fabian's trust, but he's already falling in love with Sonia. She leads him inside the room and starts taking off her clothes. Simon is seduced so he can't control himself any longer. They end up making passionate love in the basement room. Afterward, she asks him to get into her car so she can drop him at the bicycle stand. Before leaving the car, she asks him to visit her sometime. Simon kisses her cheek and assures her that he will visit and then leaves. While Simon is riding his bicycle back home, he spots Fabian with one of her friends at a restaurant. He confronts her and she reveals that the cartoon festival is only a few days away and she needs someone to help her. Simon doesn't like the idea of her working with someone else and starts doubting that she's in a relationship with her new friend. He decides to follow Fabian into a mysterious basement, but only finds her completely dissolved in her work there. He confronts her and asks why she changed so quickly, and she explains that since he's so busy with his family, she has to find someone else to help her prepare for the festival that she's been looking forward to. Hearing Fabian's disappointment, Simon is sad and confused. He doesn't want to lose his girlfriend, but he can't betray his mother either. At that moment, Simon gets a call from his mother. She asks him to keep working at the clinic on her behalf for a few more days because she and Carl are having a good time on vacation. This makes Simon's life even more difficult than it already is. Later that night, Simon takes Fabian to a nightclub where they both enjoy the music and do karaoke together. However, he still feels guilty and worried throughout the night. Eventually, he decides to sit down with Fabian and tells her that he cheated on her with Sonia by making love with her. This makes Fabian very angry, and she leaves him immediately. While Simon is still sitting at the nightclub, he gets a text from Sonia inviting him to her apartment. Without thinking, he goes to see her. They have a small chat and start kissing each other. Soon after, they make love to each other again. After a while, Sonia asks Simon to stay for dinner. They gossip about everyone at the clinic while having dinner and end up sleeping together. The next morning, Simon wakes up at Sonia's apartment and finds a note from her, informing him that she's going to the market to buy a few things. Meanwhile, he finds a photo of Sonia and Carl and realizes that his father must have given this apartment to Sonia. Suddenly, Carl enters the apartment and is shocked to see Simon there. However, Simon starts asking counter questions to his father about what he's doing there. Carl explains that he owns the apartment and is here to grab a book. Carl quickly understands why Simon is there, so he explains how Sonia wants a baby and he cannot give her one because he's gotten a vasectomy. During this conversation, Sonia arrives but she ignores Carl completely. Instead, she walks over to Simon and kisses him. She asks Simon if he slept well and he just smirks in response. Carl warns Simon that he has nothing to do with this relationship between them, but he will tell his mother all about it. Later, Simon goes to meet his mother and decides to tell her about his relationship with Sonia. She is shocked to hear this and drops to the ground. She blames herself for letting this happen, but quickly realizes that there's no point in crying over something that's already happened. In the next few moments, Simon's mother embraces him in a hug and accepts his relationship with Sonia. A few months later, Sonia gives birth to Simon's child. Somia's life is all set now because she has an apartment with Carl and a baby from Simon. However, she's still trying to make Simon love her. Now, Somia lives with Simon and his family. She hands the baby over to him, and he looks happy for a moment before feeling confused again. 
He ponders about how his life was settled one year ago with Fabian, and now he's just entangled in his family's complex ties. The moral of the story is to be careful about who you're getting involved with. If you make the wrong choices, then you might end up hurting your entire family. And that's it for this movie recap. If you were Simon, would you fall in love with Sonia and forget all about Fabian? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, we're sure you'll like this one even more. Click now to watch.